My name is Justin Williams. I am a pediatric resident um, and I work in healthcare. I think you should be interested in jobs in healthcare because it, for a number of reasons. One, uh, there's always going to be jobs. That's um, really important when you're thinking about the careers that you want. Uh, two, you don't always have to be a person who practices healthcare. So there are nurses, there are physicians, there are pharmacists who have practiced health in healthcare for a little while, and then they've transitioned to something like education or public health. So there's all this sort of um, latitude in what you can do with your job. And three, I think that if you're someone who's kind of interested in continuing to challenge yourself, it's a great job for that. You don't, there's never any stale days, it doesn't ever get stagnant, you're always kind of thinking about what the next thing, um, what the next challenge comes. So some of the things that got me interested in working in healthcare were um, growing up in Oakland, seeing a lot of people who, um, some of my friends who I grew up with, who had like chronic illnesses, who had social circumstances that were really challenging, um, and then like some uh, illnesses that kind of run in my family, and really trying to get an understanding for myself what this meant. And so this, um, when I went to college, I decided that I wanted to initially major in psychology, but then switched over to wanting to study more of healthcare and health sciences, just so I can bring some of that information Back, back to my community and help to um, educate people on sort of what their conditions are, what are the things that they need to be working on, and how they can best uh, manage their health going forward. So as a resident, we don't really have typical work days. We can be in any of a number of different situations. So starting um, in a couple of weeks, I will be in the pediatric ICU, which are the kids who require more monitoring and more intensive care. Um, but then sometimes I'm on the uh, pediatric general inpatient unit where there are kids who don't need quite as much care, but they need to be in the hospital. Sometimes I'm in urgent care, sometimes I'm in a, I'm in a primary care clinic, sometimes I'm in a specialty clinic. And so you kind of have to wake up and be ready for whatever the day throws at you. Some of the most common misconceptions one big thing that stands out to me is that you need to be a doctor in order to make a difference in healthcare. Um, I chose this route. I'm very happy to be a doctor. I love working with kids and being a pediatrician has always been a dream of mine. But that is a certain role that someone plays on the team. So I'm putting in a lot of orders and doing a lot of um, like calculations and a lot of the, the sort of thinking behind the decisions that are being made. And there are the pharmacists on the team who are really reviewing all of the medications, making sure that we're not giving someone something that's interacting with another medication or it's the right dose. We have nurses who are administering things who are by the bedside who will have more of that personal connection with patients. Um, there are techs, there are social workers, there are so many other people in healthcare that make this entire machine go. Um, I think that um, you don't have to be a doctor to make a dis difference in someone's life in a healthcare setting. So some of the top skills that people are looking for, they're looking for someone who is resourceful and independent. So if a problem comes up, you know, it's okay to ask questions. We always encourage people to ask questions, but are you able to look up things on your own? Are you able to kind of figure out your way through a problem? And it's not that you have to have the perfect right answer, but are you kind of thinking um, in that way. The other things that we like to think about are how comprehensive do you think of patients? So if someone comes in, say, with an asthma attack, you want to make sure that you're thinking not just in terms of like what is their medication, but what are their triggers? What are the things that they're experiencing at home? What are some of the social circumstances surrounding their asthma attack? So that way, when they come into the hospital, it's not just, oh, we're treating this one disease, it's like we want to make sure that we're treating this and we're sending you out into the world in a better position than you were when you first came in here. So it's kind of taking in that bigger picture and thinking uh, of, of solutions for people um, as they go forward. If you're not the best student, 
there are ways to get into healthcare. So for me, I graduated from undergrad with a pretty decent GPA, but I'm not a standardized test taker at all. Standardized tests are not my jam. And so I ended up doing a post-bac program after undergrad, which took a year, and they helped me with my, uh, with my MCAT scores, which is the standard, standardized test you have to take in order to get into medical school. And so if you're someone who is like taking the SAT and you're like, the SAT is not, not easy for me, um, it's a bit of a challenge, don't let that be a deterrent to you getting to the goals that you want because they don't determine how well you will be at a particular job. They're really set up to weed out certain people. So don't let that be, don't let that stand in your way. I would say reflect on it. Think about it. What are the reasons that you want to do it? Don't do it for the money. There is so many jobs that you can take and make a, a six-figure salary and be pretty well off. I would say know that you want to go into it knowing that it's going to be challenging, knowing that the training process is pretty rigorous, um, and being dedicated to making it to the other side.